went down to the dressing room, man, and when I walked in and saw him, it was just like, you know how you like, oh, sh that's Martin, you know what I mean? All of the different stuff that I, I, look, I can quote this man's show back to back, it, and I'm trying to make sure that I don't fan out, you know what I mean, and start doing the Martin shit in front of Varnell. Martin. Varnell. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know what I mean, kiss the pretty lady, <laughs> and then sign some autographs, the Varnell man can't your boing boing. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. You know what I mean? It's beyond surreal because, you know, like, Martin is somebody I idolize. Like, this nigga that was... Nigga funny, ain't I mean, listen, Martin, crazy. not even just that, you know, him being from the area that I'm from. Yeah, he is. And just being an icon. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he Mount Rushmore comedy to me. Bad boy. And uh, arguably the greatest. You, you put him in that conversation. I'm right and to, to see how he reacted to me and how he treated me was the most surreal shit of all time because this is somebody that I, you know, it's a difference in, like you said, fame. Like, I watched this nigga on the box. It was a world away. Like, this, he was inside the TV. That was a whole nother world to me. And to have him in front of me telling me how right. much he fucked with me right. is the craziest shit was of all time. Was that at a show, one of your shows, or was it I met show? him at a show. I met him, I did a show with him in Houston. Yeah. And, um, you know, his brother came down and was like, uh, hey man, Martin wanna holler at you. And I'm so glad that I had just took a shit because I was like, man, <laughs> but you ain't I'm gonna fart in front of this nigga and he ain't gonna never wanna talk to me again. But uh, oh, he gonna I, talk about you. Oh, he gonna talk about me. <laughs> and um, I went down to the dressing room, man, and when I walked in and saw him, it was just like, you know how you like, oh, sh that's Martin, you know what I mean? All of the different stuff that I, I, I can quote this man's show back to back it, and I'm trying to make sure that I don't fan out you know what I mean and start doing the Martin shit in front of Varnell. Martin Varnell yeah I mean you know what I mean kiss the pretty lady <laughs> and then sign some autographs the Varnell man can get your boing boing <laughs> You know what I mean? You know, I, I don't want to do that because I can. But, you know, he just was like, man, it's, it's great to meet you, man. I'm like, great to meet me. And then what was even more surreal is that he's hosting the show. So when he brings me up on stage, he's like, man, this is one of the young cats coming up, man. This dude, man, I love this dude's comedy. When I tell you this dude is a superstar, you heard it. If you, if you didn't know, you about to find out, man. This is going to be one of the next greats. I guarantee it. Make some noise for Chico Bean. And I walked out, and he walked off stage. When he walked off stage, I'm thinking he going back to his dress room. That nigga walked to the side of the stage, turned around, and just stood there and started mm. looking. I'm like, nigga. Were, were you nervous? Nervous. No. <laughs> he got, he got this. Yeah, he got I didn't know whether to boo boo, piss, bust it up. I didn't know what to do. <laughs> and uh, and we nervous. in Dallas, so you know, I'm like, you know, this is the type of person that I am. I said, man, I got to do something. Like in my just my ego in that moment was like, man, I got to impress exactly. this nigga with something. So uh, you know, uh, Southside Gorillas. Hell yeah. Yeah. So Southside Gorillas. I was like, man, anytime I hear that song, it make me feel like. I'm from Dallas, you know what I mean? Chico is the realest. No, you gon' feel it. Man. Yeah, I'm the illest, uh. you know what I mean? And I got to rap and I was like, uh, park is on swole, never been cold. Yeah, the yo. Cowboys ain't never gonna win the Super Bowl. No. And, they, oh, oh, oh. and everybody, went, everybody went from cheering up. Boo! Yeah. 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 Boo! I was like, ah, that's what you get, nigga. Washington football team. <laughs> and I saw him. I looked over to the side, and that nigga was like, he it. You that's killed something it. that you don't see somebody, see somebody do, do. Right. to just make the crowd turn on you as soon as you come on stage. Yeah. And now I got to, now you know I got, got the attention now, so got now I got bring to bring it. it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, what's crazy is you, that was my first experience with him, but just the way that God worked. The anniversary of my mother's death, I'm in L.A. We had to do a, net, uh, a Netflix is a joke festival, the 85 South Theater at the PlayStation Theater, not the PlayStation Theater, but uh, one of the new theaters that they got out in L.A. So the on May 4th, I'm Rodeo Drive, just shopping, trying to get myself some therapy, you know, for that day, because it's, yeah, it's, yeah. it's the one year anniversary, so I'm, you know, my emotions is all over the place. And uh, I get a text, just like, hey man, just wanted to check on you. And I'm like, man, who is this? Like Martin, I'm like Martin who? Like Martin Lawrence, I'm like nigga, for real? <laughs> so I call him and I'm like, Martin, man, I appreciate you, man. He was like, where you at? I said, I'm in LA. He was like, hey man, come to the crib. 
Damn. I was like, nigga, for real? And I pulled up on Martin, man, and Martin and Nipsey, God rest his soul, he passed away. Um, but I got to sit and kick it. And you know that mm -hmm. that anniversary special that they put out? Mm -hmm. I got to watch it three months before it came out. So I wow. got to watch Martin with Martin at Martin House. Damn. You know what I mean? Wow, on the right. anniversary hard, of, of my mother's passing. And what was crazy, what was so surreal is I walked in, I met his sister who was in the front room. And uh, then I walked in the kitchen and his other sister was in there. He was like, hey, baby, this Chico, man. She was like, hey, nice to meet you, Wanda. And that's my mama name. Wow. Yeah. I was like, that's why, yo, yo, God works. Crazy. Yeah, it God was just works like, crazy because it's, a lot of times when we going through things and some, people don't always know, things come as distractions to keep, take your mind off of Yeah. You. Because you could have been at home, depressed, thinking about it, crying, whatever. But ended up going and being with a, one of my idols. And what was crazy is like, I told him when I was leaving, I was like, man, you don't know how special you made me feel to be able to do this That's and not right. feel like I needed to take a picture. Right. Cause you made me feel like at this home. is a connection that I got, not mm -hmm. one that I'm having, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I was so grateful, but just when I'm like, just those type of interactions and having a direct line to these people who, raised me you know because like i said i ain't had no daddy you know what i'm saying i felt the same way when bun b knew who i was i was wow. like nigga you know me he was like yeah nigga i know you <laughs> and it was just and it's so casual to them but to make fans of people who you were fans of Come on to now. me is one of the best parts of what i do man i i just i, I know you 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 hard man like i said i i think about the way that you just like you done been around a lot of people man steve harvey was one of the guys that i seen y'all was doing your show early on at his spot how did y'all connect with steve harvey like that uh steve chad and joe who are you know two of the pivotal people in the 85 started out working with uh steve and cat who is uh one of our guys too still okay. works with steve so they had that relationship you know what i mean mm. they already had that relationship so when we got to work and steve was just like you know he got his ear to, you know, the, the pulse of the comedy. That's what a lot of dudes don't understand about the OGs. Like, to any of the young comics coming up or anybody that feel like they not being seen, if you making some noise, the OGs know that you're doing it. You just got to do something to make them want to tap in. And that's they right, because they done built the, you know, the repertoire to be able to do that. So, um, you know, Steve was just like, man, I want to see what y'all do. And he tell us all the time, like, I didn't think this shit was going to work. He was. He tell us all the time. Like he didn't we think just, it was gonna work. we just did an interview with him mean? for the Netflix special. He was like, "Nigga, I didn't think this shit was gonna work." How? Because he never seen that. Because like he never seen anything like it. Three niggas on stage at the same time. I was like, "Man, if y'all would have did that shit, y'all had a whole nother movie." Yeah. If the Kings of Comedy would have came out and kicked it. Damn you know sure what I'm saying? Would've. So I can understand why he didn't think it was gonna work. But once he saw it work, he gave us all the love in the world, man. So like, like just dealing with Steve though. How how is he like? I know you done been you you helped him with his uh with them bo them boys. Oh yeah, for sure. Um, like how is that? I know Durham well. You know that's a big deal for them kids. You oh know, yeah, I love, for sure. You know, I love the, the way that he always you know rock with them kids and that yeah. camp. Yeah. So how was it when you went and rocked out with him on that? It was amazing, man. Because like I told the kids, I still feel like a kid. I'm getting all my back charity from the '90s. This nigga ain't come get me. <laughs> he left me so in DC there, to deal with. I'm, up there, I'm up there at his house. He's showing me how to work the smoker and smoking cigars. I'm like, up. nigga, what? Yeah, I'm a charity case today too. But that's what I told the kids. I'm like, man, I'm no different than y'all, even in this position. Like, cause y'all don't know this, but I was just with Mr. Hightower, nigga. This ain't Steve Harvey to me. This mm -hmm. Mr. Hightower. Hightower. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Them like, kids don't know who Mr. They don't know who Mr. Hightower, Hightower, is. Hightower is, but I do. Mm -hmm. But y'all know who I am. And yeah. the way that y'all just got excited to see me walking here the way y'all just turned up Chico take your hat off oh I want you to be just as excited when you look in the mirror that's to see all, yourself that's good motivate them you man. know what I mean when you look in the mirror that's the most excited you should be every single day the way you just got excited when I walked in here and y'all felt like y'all just seen the coolest person in the world make sure you do that every day when you look in the mirror do whatever you need to do and utilize these black men that's around you to help you figure out the best way for you to get to that point yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.